Hi, Miss Girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorato Matlo. If you are new on this channel, welcome. And if you have been on this channel before but you haven't already subscribed, like this, what are you waiting for? Oh, yeah, my dear, please do the right thing. Subscribe, comment, share, and give this video a thumbs up. Listen, by being on this channel, you're just going to just release your stress and, you know, on the stress because so know that you're not the only one dealing with stress <laughs> okay okay first of all the question was what is the worst thing that has ever happened to you while you are in the groove for sure oh you know what i'm drinking this person Gamona. so this one are my friend pulled that stand a year ago and she got in the eye <laughs> she's blind now sometimes just depend on yourself wow okay that is the worst thing now what is the worst thing that has ever happened to me let me try to think of what is the worst thing that has ever happened to me for sure what i mean by this i don't think anything has ever happened to me since like i don't do that a lot like i don't especially with someone i don't know so i've never nothing nothing has ever happened to me like that never did end I will never go without having enough money. I, however, once found myself in a situation where someone I know from a distance from our hood, they approached me, go groove, and asked me, asked to buy the next one for me. I said no many times because I'm not into a hands out. Plus, I wasn't even into the into the guy, so I hated pretending. He went and bought it anyway okay, fine i drank it because i didn't want to be that funny person time to go home at 2 a.m Kevin is closing guy acts as if he owns me won't let go of my of me and wants to take me by force people tried to assist but failed as he was violent i panicked and i was confused until i went to my pocket and i found him five friends to give him hey that's when he let go of me my and then at my wrist and that was the first and the last time i went to group when we have time we need to talk about men who do such and take advantage of drunk girls i wonder what would have happened to me if i didn't have that 25 friend oh my god 25 friend fella you men are so entitled out there what's that some men this other one are this is what happened i have a cousin who is a groovist and a few years younger than me we sometimes party together she has a nigerian friend who she always hang out with so this one time she asked me to cup her hair to meet this friend for drinks mind you i never met this friend only heard about him from her we we met the, the friend and he is also with a friend before sharp we drank and ate the friend invited us to his place to hang out since it was still early i went along i get i trust my cousin um when we got to the place not even 20 minutes past one of the guy called me to his room we've been chatting at the club casually so i was okay with him how this guy asked for and i refused and he said i shouldn't ask i shouldn't act surprised i immediately tell my cousin i want to leave and walk to the gate sat outside and called bold the cab took a long time to arrive so i called the police and explained uh, clearly the situation the cop lady said why would you put yourself in such a situation after the police cars are all busy hang up and waited for the cab for the cab with my cousin it it finally came and we went home and we never spoke about the incident, Joe. Hamper. Hamper. I'm not even going to talk a lot because that's very dangerous. Because, you know, I'm going to get really cold. So this one, are, this one is funny. This one, are, we drank champagne that night. You hear me? We drank so much while they were ordering Bohene. See, Lady, Lady Ace, what, what? Can't they? They will leave before... Before we, we leave, and guess who had to pay the bill? Ha <laughs> Marat. Marat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. 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 
that's funny <laughs> i wish oh my god oh my god that is funny i was going to laugh at you if you're my friend so you so this one is really sad are very dangerous so this one are you i used to do this all the time until we got uh not only but gang they took us home around 6 from 1 a.m we went to a certain club we find four guys so they called us and asked us what did we drink vele sati savannah we had fun around 12 they say let's go to the bigger party where we the drunk as yo we left with two cars i better blog the next thing when i open my eyes all four niggas are changing us yo and they had they had strewn i can't say the exact way you know which we present to some of us scared it out Four years later, I'm no longer a Buddhist and I don't drink anymore. Yo, that is trauma. That is trauma. As kids, you had to go through that. Some people, they feel like they're entitled to someone's good just because they did what they... And it's not like you forced them to do it. And I, I think it's about time men be like, listen, you want alcohol here, but I'm going to go home. I want to go home with you. Are you willing to go home with me when I buy alcohol for you? If I say no, don't buy for me. Find someone else that you're going to, that is going to 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 say yes to your request. They are there. Trust me, there are women that are willing to get uh, to go with you and sleep at your place just for alcohol. They are there and they are a lot. So why? Two years back, I went out with a friend to a local lifestyle cafe. She had been fighting with her man and had to leave. I refused to go home as I was enjoying the vibe. I had alcohol and food ordered by her. After she left, I sat alone at my table. I then went outside to answer a phone call. When I came back, my table had guys and from the, from the looks of the alcohol on the table, you could tell they were loaded. I chilled with them and had a little, a little thing with this one guy. Fast forward, we drank the night away and I woke up in his bed. Yay! The following morning when dropping me off, nigga asked for my number and I gave him. A few minutes later, I received an e-wallet of 2k. Lol. Funny thing is, is, funny thing is we are now on a full-blown relationship. There is no such thing as getting drink, drinks and money in G. Because you are good company. There is always... I'm happy. I'm happy that you actually like this turned out very well. But don't say there's no such thing. There are people that are willing to just buy alcohol for the sake of buying alcohol, and women are there just to enjoy the company. And and if men the men wants to to spend money or uh, their money on this woman for alcohol, let them do it. Like don't be like that girl just because. Don't be that girl just because things like worked out for you and then you start saying there's no such thing. There is such thing. There are men out there that are willing to just buy alcohol just for fun. They don't even want to touch you. They are there. And there are also men that will just give you money. Just the fact that you spoke to them, they'll just give you money. So don't say there's no such.